Wind gusts as high as 60 miles per hour were felt across Hampshire County this week. The high wind conditions began late Thursday night and continued through Friday. The National Weather Service showed a low pressure center moving up the east coast, delivering snow to areas north and east of us. However, the system brought high winds to our area only, leaving us without the snowfall. Okay, we're here pumping some gas. Brenda. Brenda, what do you think about this wind? I'm sick and tired of it. I've had enough of winter. You ready for spring? <laughs> yes, I am. Winds between 25 to 35 miles per hour were the norm throughout the day. However, gusts went as high as 60 miles per hour, with temperatures staying in the low 30s throughout Friday. The strong winds made the temperature feel much colder due to wind chill factor. Russell Delosier. Russell, we're getting winds now. Just another thing uh, for this winter. It's uh, close to 60 mile an hour gusts today. What do you think about these uh, winds? Well, I've had about enough of them. <laughs> I work out in the uh, out in the cold all the time uh, for an HVAC company called Royal Air, and it's very cold trying to work in these conditions and dangerous in our field of work too. The wind gusts kept the power and telephone companies busy. The Hampshire County Office of Emergency Management, as well as the West Virginia Department of Highways, reported trees down on Critton Owl Road near Slainsville, on Route 259 near Wardensville, and on roads between Levels and Okanoka, just to name a few spots. Breezy conditions, as well as light snow or flurries, are expected in the area throughout the weekend. I'm here along Route 50, and your name, sir? Eric Larrabee. Eric, where do you live? I live right up there by County Pride, here in Romney. And I notice you are riding your bike today. Yes, sir. Here it is, uh, gusts up to 60 miles an hour. What do you think about these winds? Oh, it's terrible. I can't get into last gear. Is that right? Yeah. And But you don't let it stop you? Uh... Absolutely not. I'm a dedicated bicyclist. Take care. I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com.